Hey, welcome back to another video. That's so cringe. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some tips for beginner. Before we go into that, I just want to tell you that I just bought the Steam version, and it just released, I think, two days or three days ago, which cost me five dollar, five US dollar. I like it so much, and it runs very smooth rather than in my old phone, which is a uh, trash. If you don't want to buy the Steam version, if you don't want to spend five dollars, that's fine. It will be free to play in the end and right now it's just an early access but I don't want to wait and I don't regret it at all. My problem is just sound volume and I cannot increase it or decrease it so yeah you just like have to stay with that volume and I think yeah that's about it but nonetheless it runs very smooth. So let's get right into my some tips. Uh, how many is some tips? I don't know. First one, every first gamer question in the universe of gaming is on Moji pay to win or free to play? My answer is somewhat yes and no. If you look at the in-game cash, personally for me, if you buy this mask, you will get this mask which is very very ridiculous. And I kinda agree, a lot of people say that this game is so expensive, so I can agree to that. So Sophie, why do you say no as well? I say no because even though you buy a lot of in-game cash, you still need to invest your time in the game. This game has balanced unit or characters from my perspective and there is no tier list whatsoever. Like if you play any other game, you see like this character is like on S tier which is like very very OP but in this game it's really not you can use any unit and still progress in the game just fine if you don't believe me you can watch my previous video which I will link it at the end of this video and you can see that I don't have any SSRs but I'm still progressing just fine if you want a precise answer whether the game is free to play or pay to win I will say it's free to play now you know that the game is free to play but do you need to reroll for the best unit or what we call Shigigami my answer is no, you don't need to reroll because again, this game is so balanced from my perspective and you can use any Shigami and progress just fine so you don't need to reroll, you don't need to get SSR or anything. Again, in my previous video, I show you that I don't have any SSR and I'm still doing fine. So yeah, you don't need to reroll. Now you know that the game is free to play and you don't need to reroll whatsoever and then the game has balance unit or Shigami come the next point which is the first thing you need to do when you just start playing this game now when you get into the game I think you will get Yuki Ona you get Mio and then you get Inugami this three Shigami in my opinion is good and you can use them <coughs> just use them and progress through the story also don't forget to enjoy the story I think they have a good story and I think it should be easy when you just start playing later on you will get this girl which her name is Sasi Sasigi Sasigi Sas Sasikai Sasiki whatever you may want to put her in every composition of your team because she provides you or and your other Shigami can use skills more frequently and then after you progress through the story you want to do some exploration map different chapter has different souls so be sure to check it first and next after you get the hang of everything you may want to get your first main Shigami and by main Shigami there is a Shigami that can deal AOE Damage. And if anyone doesn't know what AOE is, AOE is Area of Effect, which means dealing area damage. So it deals damage to everyone, to enemy. Why is that? Because first it will make you easier to farm and then second it will help you to progress through everything in the game. There are several Shigami that is good. For your main Shigami, for your main Shigami, you can use Ubumi, which is suggested by everyone in the game. And then second, you can use Kuro if you don't like Ubumi, which is too mainstream. And I don't like mainstream things, so I use Kuro as well. And the third one is Inugami, which I think other people may not agree with me, but if you invest to him, you will do great not only in farming but as well as in PvP. If you don't like my three suggestion, you can just use any Shigami that deals AoE and that's fine. After you get your main Shigami, you want to evolve them and get them to rank 5 or rank 6 which will make them deals more and more of damage. Now after you get your main Shigami, you want to get your sub Shigami and by sub I mean a Shigami that supports your main Shigami. For sub Shigami, I already suggested the first one that is Sasuke and she is very great at providing you all. And the other two sub Shigami you may want is Kusa and Yamausagi. Kusa is a healer 
and she is an RC kami which is pretty easy to get and then Yamaha Sagi is an accelerator and accelerator is a Sigami that makes the other Sigami move faster or slow down the enemy so you can move first other than that sub Sigami is very useful for team play and farming when you want to farm something whether it's soul or evo material always do it with team the reason is because it costs you less AP and if you do it by yourself it will cost you 6 AP if you do it in team which other people will help you as well you will spend 4 AP which is 2 less AP than the 6 AP and then when in team play this is where your sub Sigami will be used mostly and by this let's say you create a team and then other people join and he is stronger than you and you are just like meh your main Sigami is not strong enough then you provide the stronger one with orbs by using Sasuke or maybe accelerator by using Yamausagi which will make the other people that is stronger than you can clear the zone faster and then you will spend less time as well so that is why sub Sigami is very important as well and that's what I did when I just play I just let stronger people carry me and I just support them so this is one of the way that you can farm faster that's by letting stronger people carry you and now to my last tip for beginner by girl I'm in a girl that is active and very communicative and can support you and girl can provide you a lot of things for example 10% exp and 10% coins buff which is is very useful if you can find any guild that is good for you you can come to my guild the name is overlord medals are simple just do group quests and uh, don't go offline more than two days and uh, do demon encounter every day and yeah that's pretty much about my guild role and if you want to join my guild just comment down below and i will get you in and recently our guild just reached level 2 which i want to give a plug to my guild mates okay so that's pretty much about it i think <laughs> I don't give any tips in this video, I mean tips that is very useful. I think this video is more like a little review about the game. <laughs> That's pretty much about this video and before I end it, let's draw something with this tablet. Okay, for draw of the day, I still want to get Yotohimi, I didn't get her last time so I think I will draw a sword. Let's see if I can get it. No, no, what is this sword? <laughs> oh my, I'm so bad at drawing ghosts. Okay, I think, I think that's good enough. <laughs> Draw of the day, what is it? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so not my luck today. In the next video, I will talk about how to farm BSP, so I expect a video in the few days, uh, I hope. And yeah, Salpi signing out.